Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasha Allah, Koholo Yimalaya Hawabashim Yawashai, Bahashim, Rikaha Khodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Akim. And Akwa, that's out here, sincerely keep on the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahawabashim Yawashai, to the best of their ability. Jachana Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to just show how far the alphabet crew will go to try and incorporate themselves with the scriptures as if the Lord loves what they're doing. Like the Lord, he just accepts that lifestyle. When, when you go into the scriptures, Old Testament and New, it clearly tells you that you're going to be destroyed if you're living that lifestyle. It's just that simple. Well, let's get this. You see how silly it is. This is um, in the USA Today. It says demons in the Bible use they and them pronouns because of English grammar, not gender. Fact check. So I was happy to see that at least, you know, some of these so-called teachers and American scholars and, you know, these um, seminary schools, they at least had sense enough to say, hey, look, <laughs> y'all on some bullshit. But, it, but it's just showing you how far they'll go to try and make it seem as if what they're doing, because they want that um, they want to feel accepted, man. They, they want everybody to accept it, and they even want the Lord to accept it. That's the crazy part. The Lord's not going for that, man. It says, uh, this was a May 9th uh, Facebook post, direct link, and they got the archive link. It says, suggest an ancient text invokes modern-day language about gender identity. The Bible, demons refer to themselves as they, them, we, us, reads the post, which cites several verses from the, the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So much of what is going on right now, the Bible describes it, says one com. Um, it says so much of what is going on right now, the Bible describes it. See, see how they're trying to invoke that. It says, says one comment on the post. It is amazing. No, what, what what's going on is you don't have no goddamn sense. You don't have common, um, um, you know, reading skills because <laughs> Americans, man, are, are, are kind of like it's not the best schooling here, man. And all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaf for giving us, you know, the um the spirit to discern things, man. And to go off into the scriptures and, and, and giving us the understanding that we do have of the scriptures. Because they going all the way off on this. It says, let me get that back again. They said, so much of what is going on right now, the Bible describes it. Says one comment on the post. It's amazing. It says, wow, says another one. Um, never really looked at it this way. The post was shared more than 1,400 times in two days. Other versions of the claim were shared thousands and additional times on various social media platforms. So they they, they, they pushing this throughout the social media um, um, world, right? And people really believe it, that this, this what they're saying is, oh, well, see, see, that's why we you, we can use they, them, you know, these, these, these pronouns that, you know, they don't want you calling your uncle, uncle no more. They don't want you calling your auntie, auntie. You want this? Let's see what's popping. It says our rating missing context, and that's exactly what it is. It's just missing context. It says all five passages cited in the post describe multiple demons using pronouns that follow the traditional structure of English language. And regardless, experts told USA Today the passages were originally written in Greek. See. And there, are, and there is no parallel between such pronouns used in the Bible and modern day understanding of gender identity. So they got that right. They got that correct. But, they, but like I said again, this is how they deal reach, man. They reaching hard as hell right now to try and get people to accept. See, the Lord, he accepts us. He, 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 he loves us like this. Come on, man. It says um, demons use of demons use of they them doesn't have anything to do with gender. Mark Goodacre, a, pro a professor of religious studies at Duke University, said he was astounded by the claim, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. And it don't make no sense because they don't have no understanding, man. This is them reaching. It says the first verse cited in, in the post is Mark um, chapter, chapter 5, 1 through 13, a passage that describes, uh, they, they said Jesus, but of course our, our Lord's name is Yahawashai. There is no letter J in Hebrew. There's no letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. And the letter J was invented in 1524. And I'm sure 
this particular professor should know that, that there is no letter J and they wasn't calling the Lord Jesus back then. He had a Hebrew name. That Hebrew name was Yahawashai and still is Yahawashai. In the Hebrew tongue, Yahawashai, meaning he is the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he's this, um, he exists or the existing one in Paleo Hebrew. There's no letter J in the Hebrew alphabet. <laughs> they wasn't calling on it. There was no letter J's and nothing was called by the letter J back when the Lord walked the earth. And you can Google that and look that up. OK, it says. Let me see here. It's a lot. OK, so it says um, the first. Let me get that back again. It says the first the first verse cited. And the post is Mark 5, 1 through 13, a passage that describes Yahweh Shai exercising a possessed man. After Yahweh Shai asks what the demon's name is, he is given a response of, my name is Legion, for we are many. Now, <laughs> it's common sense that he's talking in a plural form. Of course, he's going to be like they or them because it's multiple spirits, it's multiple people, so to speak, right? So they, <laughs> I mean, just think about how silly that, that is, man. They, they're actually using that, this, 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 I mean, it's so damn stupid. I can see why this guy said it's astounding to him. Uh, let's get some more. <laughs> it says, um, and what Goodacre described as one of the most remarkable and vivid stories in Mark's gospel Yahweh Shai sends the demons into a herd of pigs, which then runs over a cliff and into the sea to their death. Matthew 8, which is also cited in the post, depicts the same scene. But legions re reference to being many demons makes plural pronouns necessary per English grammar rules. It makes it necessary. But what do these people do? Uh-uh. You see they using them words, they and them. That means that the Lord is down with our cause. Incredible, man. The three other biblical passages cited in the post also specifically detail multiple demons. Both Mark 16, Luke 8, reference to the, se of the seven demons, exercised from Mary Magdalene, while Luke 11 also describes a group of seven spirits. If you're saying a person has many demons, many spirits, the only way to refer to, to that is to say they and them. Why? Because it's plural. It's multiple people. Goodacre said, it simply doesn't make any grammatical sense to say it any other way. And it doesn't. But like I said, th this is how hard they're going to. And this is how you know we're in the last days, too, man. And, and, and see, when it comes to this and, and another scripture, man, let me get this real quick. This is the reason why we bring this scripture out so much, man. It's been uh, I haven't brought it out as of late <laughs> in a little sec. But I mean, this scripture comes out quite a bit right here. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. And if you've been in this truth for a while, you know that scripture, man. It reads, never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. You can't trust this man. He's coming from every single angle that he can, man, to change your children. You know, because he doesn't want, especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. One thing this man doesn't want you to do is to, to have children. He doesn't want you to continue on. If it was up to this man, he would want every single male in, in, in our family groups to be um, um, going with this lifestyle. And every single one of our women to be going with this lifestyle. So we won't get together and produce children, and which in terms will, will send us to, into a spiral of genocide. If it was up to this man, trust me, and, 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 and he uses our people to, for these fucking commercials, man, when he, he pushing this agenda. When you see the, the Alphabet crew on TV and, and they're pushing a, a, a new commercial for HIV or AIDS or anything as far as the pills that you could take and you can do this for what it's always our people that they put at the forefront of this lifestyle, man. You see, it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed. And beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So he's going to humble himself. Oh, it's for that we love you. It's all, you know, equality. Everybody should love his love. You should be able to love. Love is love. Everybody has a, you know, a way of love, and we're all different, and we should all accept each other. No, man. 
We are Hebrew Israelites. The Lord told us to stay away from that particular lifestyle and, 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 and not to follow the ways of the heathen. Those are heathenist customs, man. Heathen, just, just some heathenistic shit, man. Matter of fact, let's get a... Uh, Let's get this Jeremiah. So lucky. Where are we at here? I'll go back off into it and grab a little more out of it. Jeremiah um, chapter, what's that, 10? Let me start from the top. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord, which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. And this is talking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's not talking to no other nations. The Lord didn't make no covenants or, or give no law, statutes, and commandments to the other nations, man. He gave that to you and told us clearly. He, gave, he, told us, he straight told us, don't do what these other nations are doing. That's the reason why we're in captivity right now. Verse 2, it says, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. That's the point that I really want to make. But it goes off into even the Christmas tree and that Christmas holiday crap. It says, for one cut at the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the work, the work of the hands of the work, workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails, with hammers that it moved not. And that's going off into the Christmas tree. You know, it's telling you they deck it with silver and gold. That's one of the customs, but all their customs are vain. We're not to follow anything that these heathens are doing. We're, we're, we're to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability, man. We're not supposed to be uh, celebrating no fucking 4th of July, no damn thanks stealing, no, no Easter egg, bunny hump, hopping shit. And none of, we ain't supposed to be celebrating nothing these so-called white people celebrate. Nowhere where we're captive at. We're not supposed to be celebrating these people's holidays. And we're for damn sure not supposed to be living the lifestyles that they live. Eating shrimp, crab, lobster, pork. Shit that's got our people with hypertension, diabetes, just uh, having damn limbs amputated. See, following them after this man, you it's death. It's nothing but death and behind the living of this man. His, his whole lifestyle is death, man. But let me go back. Because this is a damn shame. And I just seen uh, um, the brother, um, I think GM, uh, 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 die, garment, die garments of, from Basra. The brother um, out in um, New York, he just, uh, um, you know, I, he might be live right now. But, you know, he was going off into the Target. Um, they've been advertising all this satanic Target um, shit, these clothing for the children at, at Target. And going off into their, 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 their pride thing and this, you know, and all this just satanic shit, though, man. A lot of that shit is just straightforward Satan, Satan shit, man. And they're not hiding it no more. They're not hiding this stuff no more, man. And the scriptures talks about how he know that he had but a short time. He's speeding up everything. Actually, it's the Lord. Really, in reality. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this this guy, the so-called white man, uh, damn Esau Edom, he's getting down. He's about to get busy on you, Jake, man. Y'all better wake y'all asses up out here. This man's not playing no games. He's going straight into complete demonic sacri sacrifice your damn youngest um, um, mode, man. Okay, it says, um, this is Benjamin Dunning, a professor of New Testament and early Christianity in Harvard Divinity School. And we already know they, they be going off. They don't know the scriptures. They don't know the scriptures, man. But they at least got sense enough to know this shit is not real. It says, um, he, he similarly described, described the social media claim as absurd. <laughs> like, <laughs> they out their damn mind. It says, the idea... You use the plural pronouns, they and them, in reference to plural entities. It's just sort of common sense, he said. It doesn't have anything to do with gender. That is common sense. If two people roll up on me and, 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 and jump me, then I would be telling the, um, the, the, the officers, they, you know, were this height, this, you know, this, they, you know. They had on the same colors. They had on, you know, it, you know, you know, I mean, it's just common sense, man, in a plural form. It says. Um, the cited verses not only fail to live up to the post implications, but similar gra grammatical structures can be found throughout the Bible. He said, when you look them up, it doesn't actually make the point that the poster is suggesting it makes. He said. 
demons refer to themselves as they, them, we, us, well, so do regular people in, in plural situations. And that's true. Rusty Barrett, a linguistic professor at the University of Kentucky, said the claim would not even hold up in the scriptures original Greek. <laughs> hey, hey, at least they on point with this. It says the claim is based on modern English grammar and the distinct form of they of they as non-binary didn't exist in Greek either. He said, see, and they, it, it's not enough for them, man, but they reaching hard, man. Ross Murray, vice president of Glad Media Institute and a deacon who leads the organization's religious work said the usage of singular they them pronouns to indicate one's gender identity is a contemporary idea. Glad was previously known as the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, you know, being all kinds of shit. He concurred with other experts that the cited verses were about plural entities and not any indication of gender identity. It's not to, but check it out. <laughs> it's not to say LGBTQ people didn't exist then, but that was not the way the world was structured, he said. It was not language they, they would use to describe themselves. No one in the Bible calls themselves non-binary, and no one calls themselves gay or lesbian. Yep, there you go. Anyway, it's enough on that, man. I just wanted to just touch on this to just show just the lengths that they'll go to to um try and make themselves fit in. It's like, you know, they, they you know, they, they trying to fit that circle into that square trying to fit that square into that circle and they just pushing on it they cutting pieces off you know trying to get it to see it's just not gonna work man there's too many scriptures where the, the lord is against that lifestyle man and, and it's old testament um, um in the law and it's new testament you can go into the book of romans um it's a few different spots off in the scriptures man but definitely because they'll give you oh well that was the old testament you know, now we're all saved by grace and the Lord, he loves us. And, you know, we just we just live our lives and we wait on him. Yeah, right. You're going to see how that's going to turn out for you, man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man, your true nationality is your Hebrew Israelites. The Lord chose you. You are a special people to him. And that's the reason why he sent his son, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai again. You repent. To the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, and come back into the real truth of these scriptures, because the so-called white man he didn't shove white Jesus down our throat and gave you this notion that he loves everything that you do. Oh, he's just a God of love. He loves, loves, loves. But the Lord is sending His Son to destroy this place, so obviously He doesn't love everything, and He doesn't love everybody, and He didn't give the commandments to everybody. The the the, the law, statutes, and commandments was only given to the children of Israel. The first covenant was only given to the children of Israel. The second covenant was only given to the children of Israel. These heathen have absolutely nothing to do with it. They're going into captivity in the kingdom. Same way they have us captive right now, the roles are going to be reversed. That's the good news of the gospel. If you read uh, 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 Luke chapter one, it gives you a, a real complete, a, a real nice rundown on what the Lord is really coming to do. He's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. He's not coming to join hands with the enemies and we all just get together and have this big ass barbecue. He's coming to, to destroy our enemies, man. Because if it was up to this man, he'll tell you in the name of sweet white baby Jesus that all this shit in this article is OK. These are Christians. These are your non-binary. I'm this, I'm that, I'm, you know, whatever letter they are on the, on the alphabet. They're all they're all trying to be Christians. While living this lifestyle that the Lord goes totally against. You can't get around it, man. But I just wanted to touch on it again. Like I said, this is this shows you just how far these people will go. And not only that, it shows you that we are most definitely in the last days, man. These are the, these are last times types of things that we have to realize, man. Let's go into the let me get this one last one. Let's get this Romans 13 and 11. This is the time period that we're in. We're in a time of disaster is about to strike, man. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. See, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. You think how long, how long you think this, 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 this. The wickedness in this planet is going to go on. This place is through. 
All the prophecies are coming to pass right before our very eyes. The scriptures talks about the perilous times, what would be going on during in the last days. As far as the perilous times, it is it, just it, it gives you a complete list of everything that's happening verbatim, man. You see, the scriptures talks about um, though it tarry, wait for it. these these words will not return void. We're in the last the thick of it, man. We we are at the end of this thing. Verse twelve it says, "The night is far spent." The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And, and one of the one of the great works of darkness that's going on out here with our people is them pushing the alphabet agenda on us, man. That's a real work of darkness on us. That's a real work of darkness, man. If you don't come out of that lifestyle, you're going to be destroyed. Don't believe these people talking about the Lord loves everything and he loves everybody. He knows my heart. Come as you are. None of that shit is in the scriptures, man. That's going to get you destroyed. White Jesus idolatry is going to get you destroyed. Get rid of the white image. <laughs> For real. That scripture, um, um, Micah 2 and 10 says, come out of this place, man. You got to come out of here. Because this is not our rest. Let me get that real quick. The gospel is simple and basic, man. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. These people out here running around out here, man, going to church on Sunday, man, and got, got the alphabet people in the pulpit, in the choir, got them preaching, got them teaching, all in the name of white Jesus, telling you that you can live any, any type of way that you want to live, man. That's pollution. That Christian church with white Jesus got us sorely destroyed. You got to get rid of that whole life. That whole matter of fact, you got to get rid of the Christian lifestyle. Because Christianity got nothing to do with the Bible, man. They don't they don't keep none of the rules. They don't keep none of the, the law, statutes and commandments. They, they're not giving you the true uh, uh, image and color of, of our Lord. Telling you he's a so-called white white guy. When, when clearly the scripture describes him as being melanated, a dark melanated man. They're not telling you his true name. They're not telling you who the true Hebrew Israelites are. They just, you know, singing, clapping, preacher living good. You know, the first lady, she living good. Everybody, the deacons, they living good. The damn congregation is doing terrible. All in the name of sweet white baby Jesus, man. The scriptures talks about their greedy dogs. You're not going to tell you no truth. They're getting 501c3 charters. They're tax exempt. Everything that you're giving them, they're keeping. They're not paying no taxes, but everything you giving them, they keeping while you paying taxes. They're not putting you on game. They're not saying, well, hey, I'm not paying no taxes. Here you go. Let me show you how you don't pay no taxes. You know, pulling up in a goddamn Rolls Royce, pulling up in the best of everything. And you you catching four buses to church. They might send a van to pick you up if you a tither, if you giving some offerings. You know, and, and, and they don't even really care if you show up. Because you can do your, your, um, your giving online now. They're like, oh, man, put that shit in the envelope, man. You know, get a money order. You know, you can go to the, you know, make it. Just, hey, just send it in the mail. We don't need to see you. They don't care about you showing up. Only time they care about your, uh, uh, your, your absence is when they're saying, oh, well, where's, um, you know, Mother Jones and her, 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 her offering? I've seen stories where... Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, they'll fall fall behind on giving their giving and, and, and one lady uh, elderly she you know she was there at that church man for like 40 50 fucking years man when she passed away they wouldn't even um preach her funeral because she fell by so-called fell behind on her her giving bill man come on man y'all better come out of these churches man because they're they're giving you the run around they're giving you the run around they're not telling you that the lord is coming to destroy this place man they're not giving you they're not warning the flock you're supposed to be warning the flock. You're supposed to be blowing the trumpet. Letting the, letting the people know that the enemy is coming. They, 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 they nope, they, they don't give a shit, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> you got to get out of that, man. But I just wanted to touch on this, man, because this is a perfect example of how far they'll go to try and, you know, include wickedness, man, in the, in, 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 in the, in the scriptures. Adding to, taking away from the scriptures, trying to make the scriptures fit their wicked-ass lifestyle, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.